Hey everyone, it's Lisa Stenz from Lisa's Creative Corner. Today is day six in the Creative Design Team's month-long challenge that we're calling Love Your Stash. Each week this month, we're going to be highlighting different products from our stash to create some fun projects, which we hope will inspire you to dig into your stash and use those fun products that you've had sitting on your shelf for a while. In addition to all kinds of paper crafting products that I have in my stash, I also have set aside a few of my daughter's favorite baby clothes that I just couldn't bear to get rid of. So I'm going to show you today how you can take some of those favorite baby clothes and preserve them on a scrapbook page. The first thing that I did was I took the baby clothes and laid them flat, just like this, and then I took a picture with my phone from straight above. Then I took those files and put them in Photoshop. You can also use PicMonkey or some other free software. And I shrunk them down and printed them out on some photo paper and then cut them out with my micro tip scissors. So now I have these little mini versions of some of my daughter's favorite outfits that I can put onto a scrapbook page. I found some of these mini clothespins in my stash that I believe I had ordered from Amazon a while ago. I'm pretty sure you can find them at any craft store as well. I also wanted to have at least one photo of my daughter on this scrapbook page and found this really cute one from her when she was little wearing uh, one of our other favorite little outfits. So then I pulled out a whole bunch of different paper packets that I had in my stash trying to figure out which patterns and which colors and which papers I wanted to use. This is a mix and paper packet from the May-August 2019 catalog and I went through and pulled out all of the papers that had some uh, pink or white or any other patterns that I thought might go well with this photo and the little baby clothes that I had uh, printed out. I really liked that pattern pink paper but I didn't have a piece in my stash that was big enough to use as a mat on my photo so I decided to use it on the corner of the photo along with a piece of ballerina cardstock which sort of matched. I also found a package of the Bashful Glitter Paper which is from the 2017-2018 catalogs. It was the color of the year. It was one of my favorites. And I thought, well, maybe I'll use it for something, and so I decided to use it for my title. So I created a title and design space just using a font that I had on my computer, and I die cut it out with the glitter paper. Then I found another small piece of that pretty pink uh, pattern paper from the mix and pack, and it wasn't big enough again to use on a border all the way around, so I thought that I would maybe use it on the top and the bottom. So I'm just kind of playing around here trying to figure out um, where to put it. Then I decided to use another paper, a pattern from the Gimme Some Sugar paper packet, which is from the January through April 2018 catalog. And I thought the zip strip on that uh, might be a nice addition to add a little bit of a darker color of pink to the layout. So I cut the zip strip off the top and I am kind of putting it at an angle on the top and the bottom of this um, layout with a strip of that other pink patterned paper from the mix and paper packet. So now that I have the borders all set on my layout, I'm gonna lay out some of the other pieces on top just to figure out where I wanna have everything go. I like to do this, this is part of my process when I do a scrapbook page where I don't like to commit to adhering things down at the very beginning. I just sort of like to lay everything on to figure out where I want it and if I want to make any changes, if it's not adhered, then it's a lot easier. So now I'm going to pull out that piece of paper from the Gimme Some Sugar paper packet and I'm going to cut out some of the flowers I use as some embellishments. Initially, I thought I would make this page a monochromatic page just with pink, but I think the green and the leaves adds just a little bit of pop to the layout. So I'm going to incorporate some of these flowers throughout my layout. So now I need to decide where I'm going to put the little clothes that I had cut out. And I think I'm going to go ahead and drape them across the top of the page and have it look like a little clothesline going across the top which I think is going to end up being kind of cute because it'll overlap the top of that photograph a little bit since there's a lot of white space. 
So now I'm putting the clothes pins on top of each of the little pieces of clothes and just to kind of get an idea of where I want them and how it's going to look. But then I realized that that wasn't the easiest way to add that white twine because I wanted the twine to go through the little holes on the clothespins so that it would slide easily. And by having them already on the little clothes, it was really hard to add that twine. So as you can see here, I added it first and then I realized that they didn't slide across. So I took them all off and then I added the clothespins to the twine by themselves so that it went through the little circles, the little holes, so that they would slide easily. And then I went ahead and added the clothes back on. So now I could slide the clothes around so that it'll be a little bit easier to manipulate it and figure out where I want everything to go. Now I'm ready to adhere everything down. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove the clothesline because I'm gonna add that as one of my last things. And I found that using liquid glue on these layouts is the easiest for me. So I'm using some mono liquid glue from Tombow. And um, every now and then I'll use a little bit of the um, Bondi Memories glue that I still have left over from Close to My Heart. They don't sell it anymore, but you know what? This is a use up your stash video series, so I'm going to use up my uh, stash of adhesives as well. For my journaling, I decided to type it up on the computer and then cut little strips. And I did the journaling in pink to match my pretty in pink layout. And I just put the strips down below, which did not leave a whole lot of room for the title. So I kind of squished the title up in the middle there. And I cut a bunch more flowers from that Give Me Some Sugar pattern paper. I thought I would cut some of the tiny little flowers to add them as embellishment. So this layout's kind of nice. I didn't do any stamping at all. Everything is either done on the computer or die cut from the Cricut machine. And the flowers again are just cut from some patterned paper. So now I'm just adhering the pretty in pink title down with my Bondi Memories glue and adding all the flowers and the leaves that I cut out from the patterned paper. Now it's time to adhere the clothesline and I found that the best way to do this was to put a little bit of thin 3D foam tape underneath each of the pieces of clothing and that way the twine at the top is still adjustable and the clothespins are still movable so I can clip and unclip them. So the only way that this clothesline is actually adhered is by the clothes themselves. So you can see that I just added a small piece of that 3D foam tape underneath each of these pieces of clothing to hold them in place. And then that little hat was so small I actually had to add two pieces of foam tape. To keep that white twine in place and to keep it from sliding out completely, I just flipped the entire layout over and used a piece of tape to hold down each of those corners. To finish off the ends on the front side of the layout, I went ahead and added a little bow on each end with a little tiny micro glue dot. And now I'm just finishing off the layout with whatever flowers that I had left over that I hadn't adhered yet. And I added a couple of teeny tiny little flowers that I cut out, which I think just added a little more uh, cuteness and sweetness to this layout. And now my layout's finished, and I have a great way to preserve those little tiny outfits that I just loved so much from when my daughter was a baby. And I don't have to keep them anymore. I can donate them because I have them preserved on a layout. I hope you enjoyed watching my process and that this video inspires you to scrapbook some of your favorite little outfits and pull out some of your favorite paper packets that you have in your stash as well. Be sure to check out all the other Design Team members videos throughout this month with all kinds of ways to love your stash. And don't forget, tune in tomorrow because we have a very, very special guest designer, Laura Moss, who's going to be sharing some fun ways that she's using her stash. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.